but at the same time the same way you are looking up to somebody else somebody else may be looking up to you so don't think the grass is greener on the other side because trust me it is not everybody is going through the same thing that is called life we all deal with the same things Hey amiga, what is up and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Jennifer Ross back at it again with yet another video. Today's video is going to be part of a new series on my channel. I'm going to start a girl talk series on my channel. I have done videos before in which I talked about feminine hygiene and I saw that you guys really really like these type of videos so I figured I would make more of these type of videos but instead I'm just going to talk about more topics that we as girls as ladies go through and for the first episode today I want to start off with the topic of jealousy I know we have all been that girl before who was scrolling on Instagram and see somebody living the perfect life having the spotless very very neat apartment and we think that is goals and you start comparing yourself to that person you be a little jealous you know those type of things or someone having the perfect hair long beautiful luscious and you want your hair to be the same it seems as if your hair is not growing fast enough or it can literally be anything don't you even worry girl I know like it is not a fun feeling to be jealous of anyone but it is an emotion and an emotion that we all experience so you are not the only one but in today's video I'm just gonna help you deal with that emotion and basically turn it into motivation to figure out what is missing in your own life and why you're jealous and what you can basically do about it so if this is the first time you are seeing my face and hey girl I am Jennifer Ross I post videos or I try to post videos every Wednesday and Sunday sometimes that works out sometimes it doesn't but I try to do my best okay I would also love to have you subscribe to my channel so make sure you go ahead and do so also make sure you give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram for my day-to-day -day life I filmed this makeup look for my Instagram stories not for my Instagram stories for but for my Instagram TV so if you follow me on Instagram you can see this makeup look being you know created in case you are interested but yes without any further ado let's just go ahead and get into this video so first things first I want to start off with a little disclaimer I do want to put out there that I am NOT a therapist if you suffer from anything really really serious when it comes to jealousy and it's out of control then I do recommend you find serious help you know I don't think this video is gonna cut it for you but I know that there are so many girls like myself who compare ourselves to other people sometimes it makes you feel down but if you are like going through a very serious um, version of this and you think you need help then make sure you find it okay this video is not gonna be that So to define jealousy, we need to divide it up into segments, okay? We have rational jealousy and irrational jealousy. Rational jealousy is, for example, when your partner cheats on you, for example, and you are jealous and upset about it, then that is rational because that is normal. It's normal that you're upset about that. So that is rational jealousy. Now, irrational jealousy, on the other hand, is a emotion that is triggered by insecurity mostly. It can be triggered because somebody else has something in their life that you think is important that you aspire to have in the future um, and at the same time it's not your situation right now so you are jealous so instead of being jealous of other people we can use this as a wake-up call to figure out what it is that is missing in our own life now I do want to say that everything needs to be in reason, things need to be realistic and uh, achievable, okay? So don't like put measures that high that you cannot achieve. 
but try to figure out why you are jealous. The first tip is to put things into perspective. Nobody is perfect, nobody has the perfect life, even though it may seem like that, that is definitely not the case, okay? So don't try to be better than anyone else because nobody else is better than you either. We're all equal, but at the same time, we have things that make us unique. So just try to see it like that. The next tip is to work on your confidence. Insecurity is the biggest trigger or the biggest cause of uh, jealousy. So you need to work on your confidence. When you find yourself confident, you won't be as triggered to be jealous of anyone else. And see it like this, we are all unique in our own way. We all have something that we're good at. You just need to try to find out what it is that is making you very unique. And once you have that, like start building everything around that because we're all unique and that is a beautiful thing. Then next, you need to ask yourself why you are jealous. Just give yourself that reality check and ask yourself the question like, why am I jealous? Okay, just try to figure that out. And if it is something that is achievable, just ask yourself like, is this achievable for me? Let's say, for example, somebody has a beautiful house and it is your dream to have exactly that, a beautiful house. Then I think that is something that you can achieve. You need to find out the steps that you need to take to be able to afford something like that. Um, but for on the other hand, if it's something like a complete different body shape, the opposite of what you have, it will make you very sad to like try to achieve goals that are not realistic. The next, I just want you to accept the difference in all of us. Once again, we are all good at something. I'm good at making videos, especially the editing, I think I'm very good at, I'm very creative. Uh, my boyfriend is very, very good at drawing. Our best friend is very good at painting. And you are probably very good at something, okay? So try to see the difference in all of us. And sometimes like copying somebody else is not unique, okay? So try to figure out what makes you unique and accept that uniqueness in yourself because that is how God made you. He made you to stand out. So try to figure out what it is that makes you stand out. Next, I need you to realize that everybody has insecurities, okay? So, like, I am sitting right here, of course I have my insecurities. The girl on Instagram with the perfect life, the perfect boyfriend, the perfect, she's going everywhere. Trust me, she does have insecurities. We all do, it's not that special. But at the same time, the same way you are looking up to somebody else, somebody else may be looking up to you. So don't think the grass is greener on the other side because trust me, it is not. Everybody is going through the same thing that is called life. We all deal with the same things. So yeah. <laughs> So I get it, we can be jealous, you know, it's just a natural emotion that we all go through. But how about we just flip the script? For example, if you were in that position of the person who you are jealous of, how would you want to be treated by other people? Um, so my suggestion is to be happy for others, try to compliment them if it is something, if they did a good job, be happy for other people. and. Positive vibes will be returned, like your day will come that you will be in the position that you want to be. And while we're all going bananas, just learn from the past, you know? Learn from the past, don't make the same mistakes as you have made in the past, and don't be too hard on yourself, don't beat yourself up about anything, because it is such a waste of time, don't, don't do it. Then the next 
tip is to do everything that you do for yourself there is no point in changing for other people living for other people trying to impress other people because at the end of the day that is exhausting it is draining and trust me it won't last very long so do things for yourself try to figure out things for yourself and live for yourself live your best life for you because at the end of the day that is the person you should be doing it for then my next and final tip is to make a plan of action put everything make a plan of whatever it is that you want to achieve in your life and make a game plan and try to stick to your game plan with a game plan also comes sacrificing sometimes you need to sacrifice certain things to be able to achieve a goal that you desperately want to achieve okay so for some of us that it can be it literally can be anything and i said this in a previous video and i'm gonna take that as an example again like for example some of us like traveling in order to be able to afford all of those travels maybe you need to cut down on shopping maybe you need to like buy less designer things i'm just saying like sometimes it takes sacrifices you can't have it all and even though the person right in front of you that seems to have it all that person have, doesn't have it at all either so don't worry make your sacrifices make your game plan and stick to your game plan and once you are there when you achieve your goal you can see that you did it you did it you know so that is it amiga for all the tips that i have for you today i do want to say that this video may come across like very very corny and whatever but the whole point of this video was to shine a positive light on everybody or that one person who needed it because we all have been that person who compares herself to other people or who is jealous of someone and it's so wasteful like you won't get time back that is gone okay so change that try to live a positive life and with everything that is going on in the world like i think it's such a waste of time to be too concerned about social media and everybody trying to put out their perfect life their perfect picture you don't see what is going on in somebody's life on social media they just let you see whatever it is that they want you to see and even though we know that we still get carried away so give yourself a little detox here and there but at the same time jealousy can happen anywhere it also happens offline you know so if there is something that you are jealous about then just try to figure out what that is and what you can do about it and hopefully some of these tips can help you out but we're coming to the end of this video i would love to have you subscribe once again so make sure you subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and also let me know if you want to see more of these type of videos this series is here to stay we're trying to do like as many topics as possible so if you have a topic that fits in the girl talk series then let me know in the comments down below and i love you so so much and hope to see you soon in my next video Mwah.